Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at the Chewy Intel AU box. This is CW1603. It does have Wi-Fi 6. Also, it has Intel Core i9-13900HK, 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. We'll go into more detail on some of the specs a little bit later on. But this is exactly what you're going to get in the box. You're going to get a VESA mount right here with some screws. You're going to get your cable. Depending on where you are in the world, they'll send you the cable uh, for your particular mini PC. And we've got the power brick or power adapter here. The model is GVE and the power is 19 volts, 6.32 amps, 120 watts of power with a barrel connector on the end here. You're going to get your information here. This is your user manual, your warranty card and everything else you're going to need for your mini PC. And you've got the mini PC itself. Now, this was sent out for review from uh, Chewy themselves. No money has changed hands. Also, all opinions are my own. No one is reviewing this video before it's released. So this is the mini PC, as you can see. We have a power button on the front. Now, the actual material was made of plastic and metallo. It was probably metal, some form of metal. On the top, we have this nice Chewy logo here. And we also have some ventilation for exhaust to get the heat out of the actual unit itself. On the other side, we do have some ports. We have a lock port there, which is some sort of Kensington lock port. We also have Type-A ports, two of those, USB 3.2 Gen 1, and also a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port fully featured. And I think that's either a microphone or a reset port, one of those two uh, on there as well. Let's take a look on the other side. On this side, we have 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports. We have two of those there. We also have USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port and a USB 2.0 Type-A port there as well. HDMI 2.1, also TMDS uh, supported. Also 3.5 millimeter audio jack there and also DC in port there as well. And a Thunderbolt 4 port on there as well. This means you can run four monitors on this mini PC. We also have that DP port 1.4, 8K at 60 hertz. The HDMI does support 4K at 60 hertz. Thunderbolt 4 supports 4K at 144 hertz. And USB-C supports 4K at 144 hertz as well. On the bottom, we have a nice fan here to pour air in and cool the actual unit down as well. And this is where you can gain access. And you can also mount your actual uh, VESA mount on here to put it onto the back of a monitor if you wanted to. Comes with Windows 11 Pro pre-installed, but you can change that to whatever operating system you want to run on it. So let's remove the bottom and have a look inside. Now, this can be upgraded if you want to. You can see we do have two M.2 2280 SSD slots on here, which support up to two times one terabyte PCI Express 4.0 SSDs on here. So you can run those uh, side by side there. We have the 16 gigabyte stick model here. That means there's only one DIMM inside here. And this is dual channel, so DIMM uh, slots on here, up to two times 32 gigabytes at DDR4 3200 megahertz speed. So you could populate two of those. We got the Wi-Fi card on here as well. And that's Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2 on here as well. The processor is an Intel Core i9-13900HK, 14 cores, 20 threads, up to 5.4 gigahertz in speed. And it has the Intel Iris Xe graphics, which is pretty good onboard graphics. I'll just quickly show you the system specs on the computer as well. We rock in the uh, local account here with Windows 11 Pro, and it's very easy to set up a local account on this. You just pull the Infinite cable out while you're installing, and it will give you a local account. No need for a Microsoft account with this particular mini PC. Now this unit is on offer at the moment if you get the 16 gigabyte version which is this version here with 512 gigabytes of storage which is what this one is right here. It's 387 English pounds which is very cheap uh, for a mini PC with a i9 processor. So let's show you some of the benchmarks for this mini PC here and also I'll show you some of the names of the hardware that's inside. So first off the disk for the SSD is an air disk, 512 gigabyte, and that's what this model is right here. So if you're wondering what the model of drive was, it's air disk. Also, we'll take a look at the speed of the drive. So the sequential reads are 3,285.60 and the writes are 3,090.65 write speeds for that particular drive as well. And you can see the 4K speeds there as well listed and all the other stuff. 
Let's go ahead and run Geekbench 6 on this and see what the specs are for this particular benchmark because I do believe that this is going to perform pretty well with an i9. Single core score is 2314 and the multi core score is 8572. Let's take a look at the GPU score for Geekbench 6 as well. So you can see that 13,559 on OpenCL score, which isn't too bad. And remember, this is just 380 English pounds, which is pretty cheap. Let's run Jellyfish 400 MBPS, uh, 4K Ultra HD HEVC 10 bit file. And you can see silky smooth playback. I'll just skip this to see how long it takes. Pretty quick, as you'd expect with that i9 processor. Now, again, you can play 4K playback on this. You can use uh, Netflix or any of the other streaming uh, places that you want to stream your movies, or you can use Plex or anything like that. 4K streaming on here, I've set this off, and this is 4K resolution that we're running right here. And you can see there is no drop frames whatsoever on 4K. So you could even use this mini PC as a uh, Plex streaming server. You could plug in a external enclosure with all your drives on it, with your data, and use this to transcode all of your Plex movies on here, which will work perfectly fine. As you can see, no problems whatsoever. Lovely 4K streaming on here. As you'd expect with that i9 processor, it's got plenty of processing power on here. And remember, you can run up to 64 gigs of memory on here. Yes, it's DDR4, not DDR5, but again, uh, the 3200 megahertz DDR4 is still relevant today, and I think that will be plenty for this mini PC. Let's take a look at CPU Z here. We're going to go through here and take a look at the CPU and the motherboard so you can see all of the information on the screen. I wanted to take a look at the memory because I didn't actually look at the memory while I was in the unit itself. I wanted to see what type of memory it is, and you can see DDR4. We know what that is, and let's take a look at SPD here because that will tell us what the brand is. And there it is right there, Samsung. So it's got Samsung memory inside this mini PC, which isn't too bad for that sort of price point. Now, I've seen all sorts of comments in the comments section uh, saying that they don't last very long and they overheat and there's an issue there. Now, mini PCs obviously are very compact and having something running cool is essential. So let me stress test the CPU here. CPU package was 42 idle and it's now up to, as you can see, the full CPU package is 75 Celsius and there is no thermal throttling or anything like that on the system. So it's running pretty stable and there's no overheating on this mini PC. It runs up to 82 and then jumps straight back down to 77 Celsius. You can see the cooling is working very efficiently right here and the CPU power uh, package is 71, 72 watts there. And it's running up to a reasonable temperature, but it keeps it nice and cool. And you're probably never going to tax that many PC like that in its lifetime. So let's go for Cinebench R23. Single core score is 1,725 points. And the multi-core score is 17,310 points, which is pretty decent uh, for a mini PC, as you can see by the results on the screen. Let's do some more benchmarks here. We're going to run 3D uh, mark score for the time spy got a score of 1470 and that is a pretty decent score the night raid score for onboard graphics is 12994 which is not too bad as well so if you wanted to play some games you can do on this mini pc as well because it's capable with those intel iris xe graphics you can be able to play retro games and also 1080p gaming and 720p gaming. Depending on what type of game you're playing, it will be able to handle some of those games as well, but it's not going to replace any sort of desktop with dedicated graphics cards. So if you've got an old computer and you want to upgrade and you don't want to spend a lot of money, £387 is not too bad for a mini PC of this stature. You're getting a pretty decent uh, system right here. Now, remember, you could install Linux on this device as well, and that should run pretty flawlessly. Uh, there's plenty of flavors to choose from. You've also got built-in Windows 11 uh, Pro on here as well if you wanted to use a Windows device. Maybe you've got an old computer that's 10 to 15 to 20 years old and it's reaching its end of life and you don't want to spend the vast amounts of money, then this might be a solution for you if you want to downscale to a smaller size and also don't want to use as much electricity. Something like this will be ideal for you. It's small, it's portable, and it can even mount on the back of your monitor. 
Anyway, I'll leave all the links and information in the video description if you are interested. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. The link is in the video description. Bye for now.